Charitable giving is a topic that is near and dear to our hearts here at The Cause, and we see firsthand that donations make a difference in people's lives. And we also know what it takes from people like you who are on the front lines making that difference, which is why we're always looking to keep up to date with the latest giving trends and technologies to share with you here on this channel. But what really motivates people to give in the first place? And what moves a donor through the pipeline? In today's video, we're gonna look at the psychology of giving to find out. So let's get to it. I have mad respect for Jen Chang, who is the world's only philanthropic psychologist. And according to her, philanthropy psychology is the science of understanding how people love people. And by understanding the psychology of giving, nonprofits can understand donors as humans and create meaningful connections that resonate with donors, leaving them feeling inspired and loved. There are commonly cited reasons why people give to charity like tax deductions, being asked, belief in your work, and because they should but something more fundamental is going on inside the human brain that motivates people to give. Studies have shown that giving makes us feel good. When we donate to a charity, we feel a sense of pleasure and satisfaction from helping others. And this feeling is caused by the release of dopamine in the brain. And dopamine is involved in feelings of happiness that we experience when we do something good or helpful. Now this is also responsible for that high people feel when they do something pleasurable, like donating to a nonprofit. Now, this brain chemistry can help us explain why giving back makes us feel good and why we're often motivated to donate to charities and other causes. As research by Shang indicates, the psychology of giving suggests that we as charitable organizations and fundraisers should work to intensify this feeling in our donors, not because we want their money, but because we care about them as humans. As Shang says, love your donors, the person, not just as a giver, and show your donors heartfelt thanks, not just tell them to take action. Showing our love for our donors as humans is the true art of fundraising. So when crafting our appeals, we should focus on the donor's emotional needs and how our organization is meeting those needs. Now, one meaningful way to incorporate philanthropy psychology into our fundraising appeals is to focus on the individual rather than the institution. Donors are more likely to give when they fear their donation will make a direct difference in someone's life. This means that fundraising materials should highlight stories about individuals who have benefited from our organization's work. Another powerful motivator is the feeling of social connectedness. Help your donors feel like they're part of a community. Make your donors feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. Finally, people are more likely to give when they feel appreciated. Show your donors how much you value their support. Thank them for their donation and let them know how their contribution will be used and the difference it will make. Philanthropy psychology is about showing donors that you understand and care about their goals and are committed to helping them achieve their philanthropic objectives. By taking the time to build strong relationships with donors, you can demonstrate your dedication to their success and earn their trust. In turn, they'll be more likely to support your organization over the long term. And as anyone who's ever been in a relationship knows, love requires work. And if we drill this all down, just love our donors. Now I know this was a short one, but I was just feeling the love today and thought I would share it. Now if you're a regular subscriber, please know that I do this for you. And someone took the time to teach me fundraising it was my favorite auntie but still she did so it's my turn to pay it back and it takes a special kind of person to dedicate their life and their career to charity so I get it and I'll see you next week